Uh, so what other things should you probably want to know? Um, like I said, we said that it apparently has... it. They're saying that it has haptic feedback, that it uh, does have an accelerometer. Um, mm -hmm. They're saying that it's going to be uh, running in 1080p at 60 frames per second. Yeah. Um, we know that that the Arcade 1-Up cab is supposed to be running at 60 frames, but I don't know if it's 1080p or 720. Um, mm. That I'm not 100% sure on. Um, like I said, there's uh, the Legends Pinball has the glass as opposed to the acrylic, and then you've got the uh, size factor. Both of them have the adjustable legs, which is just the, uh, uh, the little footies on the bottom that'll basically give you two inches of rise. Um, yep. For that kind of purpose, and then you get all the other stuff. So here's where this is what uh, uh, Legends Pinball was really touting, and this is if if you're familiar with their product, if you have their Legends Arcade, then you're familiar with their BYOG uh, program, bring your own game, the Arcade Net. Um, they're basically creating an ecosystem. Uh, with which it doesn't matter if you have the Legends Pinball, the Legends Arcade, the Legends Gamer uh, controller. Um, they're all going to be able to kind of communicate with each other. You're all going to be playing on the same leaderboards. So you're all going to be having that same kind of uh, interaction, uh, more or less. It's not going to be you just, oh, I've got the pinball machine, so I can only communicate with other people with pinball. Um, yeah. They're creating their own uh, tournaments uh, and leaderboards. Um, so that's all kind of interesting. They're, the game, come, the Legends Pinball comes packed with, currently it's going to ship with the 22 Gottlieb tables. Now, I made the mistake of thinking of those 22 that the Alvin G's were going to be the ones dropped. Turns out, nope, those are yeah, in. They're in. The two tables yeah. that are not going to be in, Big, Big Hurt, which is the uh, baseball one, and I, I think yep. that's the only licensed table of the batch, which yep, kind of makes is. me go, hmm. And then for some unknown reason, <laughs> the EM version of El Dorado, and instead you get the solid state version, El Dorado City of Gold, which me and Jared both think is the craptacular version. <laughs> oh, it's the worst. And... It for so many reasons. Well, you know what? I had to remind myself of those reasons today. So I went ahead and I loaded up Pinball Arcade and I first played a couple of games of El Dorado and I'm like, I like this. Yes, it's an EM, but it's a really a shooter's game. You're really uh, having to aim for targets and the ball moves at a nice leisurely pace like an EM should. I'm like, yeah. cool. I throw in City of Gold, which is... In case you folks don't know, it is the absolute exact same playfield layout. Everything on it is identical. Yep. It's got the most annoying sounds in the world. Well, it really does. They changed up the rules because of it being a solid state and you can remember certain things, but they're rule changes that I personally don't really like, mainly because all the drop targets along the back, every time you lose a ball, they all pop right back up, whereas the EM... Yeah, don't reset, and I. It annoys me. You lose a ball with only one target left, and all of a sudden, all ten. Oh, yeah. All my progress. Um, yeah. And then it also plays super fast, way too fast for that playfield. And I don't know if the solid state played that way. Like if all of a sudden they ramped up the strength of the flippers, uh, so they could also rake it farther. I don't know. Yeah. There's just Nothing that I like about that one compared to regular El Dorado, so I'm kind of sad that that those are that that's the one that had to go. Yeah, it is disappointing. Like they they just don't like it. Kind of shows that they don't get um, the the finer points of pinball, um, and they look at like I reckon they would have made the decision. Oh, what's more modern? Right. What is the EM more modern or is the Solid State one more modern? Oh, we'll take the Solid State because that will be better. Yeah. Well, not necessarily. Yeah. But who knows? Maybe it's just us who likes the, the EM and everyone else loves a solid state, but I don't know. Could be. Could be. Uh, yeah. The other thing that... Um, 
So those are going to be native to it. When the Taito uh, stuff comes out, they say those are going to be downloadable and native also uh, to the to the uh, to the cab. Mm. Why is native important? Because obviously, then you're not dealing with any latency, it's which streaming. is where I question the next thing. You have the ability to stream your games into the cab, and so they're yeah. advertising with that that if you own Pinball Arcade that you can stream all of your stern tables also into it. Yes, Steam only. Steam only, yeah. Mm. Here's the thing. <laughs> Remember, folks, Pimple Arcade didn't have cabinet mode. Mm. What you're streaming is going to be landscape mode. There is no official cabinet mode unless you had the Arcuda cabinet. Yeah. Um... So, so if you had the Arcuda cabinet and paid for the Arcuda cabinet, then I guess you would be able to stream that, maybe. But otherwise, for most people didn't buy that. Uh, so you're going to be playing cabinet in cabinet mode with portrait, or excuse me, with landscape. <laughs> I don't know how that's even going to work. The, I, uh, I, I don't know. It's not going to look good. It's not going to be great. <laughs> I think that's what it's going to be. Maybe maybe you'll be playing that up on the uh, back box 15 and a half inch screen instead. I, I think that's probably the only way you're going to be able to do it. Uh, unless they've worked out some way of like flipping monitors or something. But I just don't see how that's going to be possible. Um, something else to, to keep in mind too. Uh, all these cabs are apparently going to be running some version of Android of these games. Um, yeah. Again, we'll confirm hopefully next week, uh, if that is indeed true, if these are upgraded Android ports from uh, Zen or, yep. or what the deal is. But definitely for the Farsight tables on the Ad Games cabinet, they are 100% the Android version of yes. those. Um, they also are saying that they're going to have the ability to stream... Uh, VPX games and they're going to have a few of those automatically streamable um, they're not licensed at all they're uh, user created ones yeah. but from the pictures that I saw there was no rhyme or reason as to format like some of them look like they're cab mode some of them look like they were landscape mode um, mm -hmm. that'll be kind of interesting so I think basically it seems in, correct me if I'm wrong Jared but my perception of that games is they're appealing to the multi-cade crowd, uh, those that are grabbing their titles from not always the uh, <laughs> league list of sources. <laughs> that, they're, they're the sort of people that... Um, the people that I think are using or favor at games are the ones that want to essentially have a little bit more flexibility in what they play and where they get those titles from. Right. Um, and it may so yes of course you can get the those titles from um, um not so legit sources um but at the same time you can also um obtain them um through stores and stuff like that so rather than having a, a product that's just through one ecosystem or one stream i think at games is about that little bit of extra variety and a little bit of extra consumer choice um, in where you get your things from. Yeah. Uh, and like I said, this is also going to be able to play not just pinball, um, but they're saying you can stream any of the games. Okay, do it. Yeah. Um, so it's you almost know, kind of doing a little bit of Steam's big picture mode, I guess. A little bit. When yeah. you have the Steam box. Um, See, I kind of like the idea. Like, I do like the idea of streaming some titles to that vertical screen. So, you know, vertical, vertical shoot em ups are going to look great on this thing. Like, if you put a controller in that lockdown bar area and you start playing things like Dajong Apache or like Raiden or any of those sort of vertical scrollers, it's going to look awesome on that screen. Yeah. Like it's going to be wicked. But, you know, that that's that, that's sort of, you know, what Arcuda was also aiming at as well. Like right. they were looking at that sort of like multiple destination style um, uh, ecosystem. Now, the so, million dollar question though. Let's say you go ahead and do stream pinball to your cab. Is there going to be latency? I've got oh, an answer to that because uh, I reached out, and the answer is, yep, there is a little bit yeah. of lag. 
If you don't want the lag, you're going to need to hook this thing directly up to your PC via HDMI so yep. that you don't have any lag at all. So that's kind of an issue. <laughs> yeah, a brother. So, uh, yeah, that will mean that really, uh, I think most people accept that um, if you want to play pinball, uh, you're not going to be streaming this. You're going to be connecting it somehow up to an existing piece of hardware. Um, and, you know, you do have a number of ways of doing that. HDMI, of course, for video, but you've got the Bluetooth support for the, the way you connect up your PC to what is essentially a controller with screens, um, which is the At Games cabinet. Or you can go direct to USB, or there's, there's a number of different ways you can get your controller set up. And yeah. then you may have to go through and remap um in the game so there's that as well 